something bad happened. It is very, very bad that I don't even know how to say it to you guys. Guys, as I was getting ready to shoot a video or make a content for today, my uncle just told me one of the saddest news I've gotten in a while. He just said, choose if I knew why is dead. Imagine, imagine my child. I'm like, what? No, he can't. He can't. He's healthy. He can't. Why? So I went on to Twitter to verify because Twitter for me is one of the best places to get your news. If you want to get it straight, undiluted, just head on to Twitter. So I went to Twitter to see, okay, what is actually going on? Getting on to Twitter, I saw this trending. Sodom and Gomorrah, satanic, disgusted. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Is Jesus coming back to earth? What is happening? Then I said, okay, let me search again. So I typed in Oba. And then saw condolences from oh, Shimei. Condolences piling up. Oh, it's sad we lost a family of bad. Oh, it's sad we lost a family of bad. Senator, if I knew bad died. Senator, if I knew bad died. I'm like, why? Why? What happened? So, upon get, uh, reading and making more research, I just found out that he died of a heart attack in a London hospital. And guys, for some of you that don't know already, I'm from the same state. The same local government as Efanyoba. I'm from Nnewi. Efanyoba is also from Nnewi. I'm from Nnewi North. Efanyoba is Nnewi South or not. I'm not sure. But the closest I came to knowing Efanyoba as a person, as a man, and as a politician was uh, during my secondary school days. I think it was 2013, 2014. If I'm not mistaken, I was in SS2 or SS3. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. That was the time Efanyoba came out publicly and declare that he wants to be the governor the next governor of Anambra State. Growing up, we all know Ifanyo by capital oil and gas. This guy has been providing oil to Flint Station all around the Newe. So anybody who grew up in Newe knows Ifanyo Ba or Capital Oil and Gas. We know him as a businessman, as a millionaire, but we didn't know him as a politician. So when he announced that he wanted to run as the next candidate for the governor of Anambra State. It took some of us as eh, eh. But knowing that this man has acquired a lot of wealth doing what he does and he's good at his business, some of us were like, okay, let's give him a chance. And I was quite opportuned to go to one of his campaign rallies. Guys, I don't know how many of you watching this video are, are familiar with DCC in Newe. So DCC is a church but they have a huge compound so most people if they are having a match october first all those type of match may 27th anything that requires congregation of people they come there so dcc is the place to go when you want to get your message across so when we went to dcc we because my school was close to dcc so we left we were getting ready for our afternoon lesson and we heard that a fan your back is coming with Udme Bojuku is coming to DCC for their uh, ABGA campaign, APGA campaign, because he was trying to run under the APGA party, which is the number one party in Anambra State. There's no going back. Whenever you hear Anambra State, you just hear APGA party. So he was trying to run under APGA party, and he came with Udme Bojuku, who I was lucky enough to see before he passed away. May he so rest in peace. So, getting there, if I knew Bastard telling people what his aspiration is, how he wants to make Anambra State, but how he wants to invest in Anambra State. Mind you, this guy has done quite well for himself. So seeing him talking about what he wants to do, how he wants to uplift the people of Anambra State, how he wants to pour in wealth and resources into making Anambra great. Guys, it made me believe that truly we had one of a kind. Gover governor, uh, governorial aspirant, cause the way this man talked, you know that truly he had the people in mind for running. If I knew by, it's not a kind of politicians that goes in there to enrich himself. Why? He's already rich. So that kind of politician is the politicians that I will always give my hundred percent support. Seeing him talk that day, it made him satisfied. I'm like, okay, this is the kind of guy that can go and represent us. The Newe people. And we haven't had a, a president, a governor 
Life on a day governor from Newe since. So seeing him, I'm like, wow, he's good. So it made me put more interest in, okay, let me get to know this guy. Let me keep tab on. So I started following him, started reading things about him. Started, and at the end of the day, he didn't win the gubernatorial election, which I was quite sad. But along the line, he noticed that, okay, maybe if I want to get into politics, maybe I should start from the grassroots. What did he do? He decided to run for Senate. And to show you that he is passionate about helping the people of Anambra State, he won. Because people, people, people felt what he, he had in mind. People understood him. People, people were happy that, okay, this is someone that is representing us. And one of the best things I omitted that he did when he was running for the gubernatorial election was those time buses that take students to school are not always early. The bus, sometimes the, bus, the buses are you guys. You can sit down, wake up, and you have a torn trouser. You don't know how it got there. It's courtesy of the bus. So, if I knew about brought out buses, guys, when I'm talking buses, I'm talking about all those buses, London buses, those types of buses. He brought it out free of charge to transport students from their school to anywhere they are going to. Guys, the bus was going to and fro from that during that campaign to the end of that campaign to the end of that election. He brought it out. So it showed you that okay, this is someone that wants to work for the people. So when he became a senator. Then the Indian people was very happy. I was very happy, but I wasn't around in, uh, to celebrate in India because I've already left for school in South Africa. So I've been in South Africa for a very long time, and I've seen what he does when he's arguing in the Senate chamber, when he's talking to the senators, to other senators. You see that people reason with him because he knows what he's doing. So to hear this sad news that he has passed away without achieving his goal of becoming, of becoming the governor of Anambra State. It hurts me, and also, as an ordinary person, it hurts us, because we lost someone valuable. This is someone of value, and we just lost him to heart attack. And I just want to use this opportunity and send a heartfelt condolences to the Oba family in Otoro. Guys, it is with great heart that I'm reporting to you that Efan Yoba of Newe, the senator Efan Yoba has sadly passed away of heart attack in his London hospital. May your soul rest in peace, Efan Yoba, Capital Oil, aka Ibubidi Koza. One, we will surely miss you. The people of Newe will miss you, your family will miss you. But we can't question God because at the end of the day, He knows what is best. So, rest in peace. We hope to see you on the other side.